this is me, Soren, and I am on MTV Ask. Okay, so I'm going to be answering questions. The first question is from Destiny Dexy. Sawadee when you're in Korea, how bad do you miss Thai food? Also, not a question, but a, fra a praise. Thank you to legends like Soren, Minnie, Lisa, and so many other Thai girlies for bringing pride to Thailand. Oh, thank you. That's, a, that's really sweet. When I am in Korea, I don't really miss Thai food as much. Me and my, I mean, all these Thai talented girls, um, we go to Thai restaurants pretty often when we have time to meet each other. Um, and we have like our favorite Thai restaurant in Korea. So whenever we crave Thai food, we just gather up and we go together. Next is from Crystal Boys, which says, Hi Soren, I wanted to ask you how you feel at this new stage as a soloist. What other plans do you have in mind? Can you can we see you in other types of projects? We love you and are proud of you. Well, I am very blessed to be able to, you know, keep releasing music. This year, this so Nirvana Girl is my fourth single. Yeah, so I'm super blessed to become a solo artist and be able to just travel around the world, make music and keep creating new projects all the time. Well, after Nevada Girl, I think if I work hard enough, we'll have one more song coming out before the end of the year. And then towards the beginning of next year, we'll probably be aiming for a full album. Fingers crossed. And also, I really want to do like a Southeast Asian tour for now and hopefully a world tour to meet all of you in person. Me and my team were really working hard towards that goal, so hopefully that happens. Crystal Claret 13. Do you plan on making music in Korean or Thai in the future? That is a good question. A lot of you I've seen on Twitter and on my social media, a lot of you requesting me to sing more in Thai and also in Korean. If there's a right opportunity for me to sing in Thai or Korean, I will definitely do it. I mean, for me personally, I really want to do collabs with uh, Korean artists. I mean, other than, you know, Nirvana Girl, which I have Yeun on it, that she's, she sings in English. So, I mean, in Korean, I really want to do a collab with a Korean singer, probably my fellow artist friends back in Korea, if there's a good opportunity. And also in Thai, I do want to do more of like a collab with also my fellow Thai artists in Thailand, or maybe like a fun OST for a drama in the future. Next is from Eunbin's dad. I mean, not actually her dad, but it says Eunbin's dad. What brings you joy other than music? Uh, TV shows, movies, or anything specific, comedians. I enjoy watching a lot of content on YouTube. Uh, I'm a big fan of long-term content on YouTube, such as like vlogs, I'm pretty old school. So I spend most of my time just on YouTube, exploring new vlogs and new content from my favorite creators. And yeah, that brings me joy. Eugen mode underscore TW. If you had to make a choice, would you rather be known by many or loved by many? I'd rather be loved by many because that's the reason why I exist because of my love and support from the fans I have throughout my time even when I was with CLC and up until now because of the love and support I have I'm able to be able to just keep releasing music keep doing what I love so I'd rather be loved by my fans because that's a great motivation Natu Mako which says what is the most difficult thing you have found adjusting from being in a group to being a soloist? Uh, I think there's a lot of things that has been very difficult for me at first because I am so used to working with six other beautiful and talented humans, CLC members, um, and being with them for 10 years and now having to work as a solo artist on my own. I don't know, I feel like something's like kind of like missing at times. So that's been really challenging because like I always had like six other energy with me whenever I go and whatever content we film or like interviews or tours or whatever. But now I just have to fill in the stage and that missing space by myself. I miss them a lot, but I've learned a lot too because I had that experience with the girl group. I'm able to use what I learned from there to improve myself and grow as a solo artist because I get to kind of like go to the max, like whatever I want to do, I can just let it all out and I can really express my creativity through my work now. 
O underscore Joe. What was the most memorable or unforgettable moment with CLC fans? Ooh, that's a tough question because I have a lot of fun whenever we make a comeback because that's the only time where I get to really physically see you guys. Uh, especially when we go to like music programs, that's the only time I get to really interact with you all when I'm on stage and like, do you guys like the song? Do you guys, what do you guys feel about the new song and all that? I think I, I get a lot of joy from that. And also whenever we go for fan meetings or tours, I also think that that's a very unforgettable moment for me too. Being able to just meet you guys in person and have that interaction is very memorable for me. World of Tanashi which asks, which one of your songs that you release as a soloist so far were you most excited for the for fans to hear? Run, Charm Objects, Scorpio, or Save Me? Hmm, I think that Run was very nerve-wracking for me because it's my first first single I've ever released on my own. Uh, so I was really nervous because I was just not sure how my fans would react to it. But luckily, everyone really enjoyed the song. Yeah, the, I have lots of memories with Run because it's also my first time working on my own without my members. But I did get feedbacks and you know all the advice from them. But yeah, it was just a really fun first trial of single that I was. Spice underscore Spice underscore Vanilla. Love your TikTok content. Where do you get your inspirations from? As you guys all know, I like to upload and create a lot of relatable content. I guess I just get inspired by other creators on the platform and just everyday life and everyday things that we do. But the reason why I do really relatable content is because I want to be able to not only relate to my fans as an artist. You know, when you see me, I want you guys to think of me more of like a, a friend, not really like a like oh the artist that I really love. I mean, I'm blessed for that, but I also want to have this connection where I want you guys to feel really comfortable watching my content or connect to me through all my relatable stuff. Jane underscore volleyball says, how many tattoos do you have in total and what do they all mean? This is a question I get so often, like almost on a daily basis. For your information, I started getting tattoos beginning of this year. And I have all together one Oof, that's a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, 10, 11, oh, 12, 13, and then small ones. So if you count the small ones, is 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, <laughs> um, yeah, I have, whoa, I have 20 tattoos. Um, and the last one is um, enthusiastic underscore firefly asks, what is your secret beh behind your stunning looks? Uh, oh, thank you for the compliment. Uh, I don't know, um, I guess, damn, I really hate saying this, but like, Positive thinking and exercising, eating healthy. I, don't know. I mean, I mean that all counts to like a healthy lifestyle. But I guess the most important thing is that I try to stay positive at all times, and I think that really resonates to like my presence on social media too. Because I'm always positive, always happy. I guess that's why I just always create really positive content and just present myself in a really positive and upbringing bubbly way. Yeah, so positive thinking, guys. So my latest single, Nevada Girl, will be out September 15. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the song and also the music video. The music video is very interesting. I would want you guys to all watch it. I also have two special feature on it, which is Yen, who did the rap, and Seungyeon, who's gonna be doing a little dancey dance for us in the MV. So yeah, please don't forget to go support the song by streaming it and watch the music video. And also, thank you so much for submitting all of your questions today. I really enjoyed answering them and I hope to be able to meet you guys in person really soon and yeah thank you for the support and this was MTV Ask. Bye!